empty, lonely. Do you expect this kind of future? The sun is getting hotter. The sun is burning our friends, our family. They are leaving us one by one. This is climate change. Do you want to live in this kind of world? No. You deserve a better future. You, young generation, you are full of innocence. You are beautiful. You have a better future in your life. So I see a lot of beautiful people here. Remind me of my childhood. I grew up in small village, in small island in Indonesia, and nearby my house, I can see a lot of paddy field, a lot of greenery. So let me take 10 seconds of you. Please close your eyes. Imagine in front of you, there is a paddy field. Close your eyes. Imagine you hear the sound of the bird. You hear the water flow around you. What you imagine? Relax. Refreshing. Happiness. Joyful. This is a kind of the world that you want. This is what I felt when I was kid. I can run around, I can go anywhere what I want. Whenever I see, it's all greenery. I feel refreshed. When I was a kid, my dream is becoming a farmer. Because I know when I live in the village, I will feel happy in my entire life. But one day, my father called me. Edo, that's my nickname. Edo, come here. Why? You need to move to Bandung, capital city of West Java in Indonesia. Why? Why? Yes, that's true. Same like you. I think some of you have the same experience. Your father call you and then mention you need to move to the city because you need to have a better future. You need to study in the better university, in better school. So that, that was tough for me. I think some of you know, when you were kid, you, will, you have a lot of friends in your city and you didn't want to miss them. That's what I felt. But I didn't have choice. I think same like you, I started to follow my parents. I took the first train in the morning. Of course, in my heart, I felt very nervous. What I expected at the time. Of course, I'm thinking it will be the same environment like Felix, but with the maybe a little bit uh, advanced technology. So the first thing that I did after I took the train, arrived in Bandung, I stepped on the land in Bandung. What do you feel? What do you expect me to do? Excited? Yes, supposed to be, but I feel sad. I feel disappointed. I started to regret why I follow my parents. The first thing I step on, I step out from the train, my leg wet until my knee. And then I could smell a lot of weird things around me. At the time, I didn't know what, what was going on. I started to feel headache. Then, I entered one school in Bandung. I started to know the term climate change. Because climate change, the sea rising. As a result, when there is a rainfall, no more storage, no more place for the water to go to be stored inside your soil. As a result, there is a flooding. 
That was heaven. Why my leg become wet? And of course, when there is climate change, there is a, a cause, and the cause is that bad smell. So, what is what is the cause of the bad smell? Yes, that's right. Rubbish, your waste material. You throw away the rubbish outside your house. When you drive a car, you just throw away your food snack. And then, of course, it's not only affecting your life, but your pet, the tree, vegetation, animal. So that triggered me to learn more about climate change. So I started to take discipline, civil and environmental engineering. I moved to Singapore because, you know, Singapore is one of country that provide good education about the and climate change. So similar like you, when you move overseas, so definitely you expect to move to the better university. So I keep studying until I realized I already 15 years in Singapore. Then I know my dream is to implement my technology. So I started to think I need to move out from Singapore. But before I move out from Singapore, I wanted to come back. I wanted to feel the same area when I grew up. Similar like that small village when I grew up in my childhood. Then one time I watched Mongol movie. So, you know, when you heard Mongol, it means Kazakhstan. That's true. So I learned from that Mongol movie about Khan, Genghis Khan, and then I know Kazakhstan is very beautiful. So that motivated me to move to Kazakhstan. Of course, there is another important reason I moved to Kazakhstan. What is it? You. So I saw the movie National Geographic about Kazakhstan. I keep wondering why people in Kazakhstan has a very white skin. So I thought, okay, white skin equivalent to no climate change, no air pollution. So it means your food also is very healthy. So that's what I'm thinking. So I moved to Kazakhstan. The first day I stepped on in Astana airport, I knew that I didn't make a wrong choice. I felt that minus 35 with the snow, everything, everywhere is white. I know it's completely different from my city, but that white snow gave me a big hope. And of course, I started to travel around the city in Astana. I started to travel outside the city of Astana, Almaty, Simken. Then I find out the same problem. So, what you see from here, this is nearby our university, a black smoke. So this is exactly what I didn't expect, air pollution. So we live actually nearby the industry that caused climate change. And then the next one is flooding. When you drive, when you walk after the snow, normally you find a lot of water ponding, water above the road. So in some city outside the Astana, you will expect the flooding. Definitely, it seems a simple problem, but it causes a lot of casualty. It is definitely affecting your health. Then the next one is rubbish. When I walk in one place in Astana, I didn't expect that I, I encountered this type of rubbish. So this is another problem for climate change. It is not the result, but it is a cause. When you have a lot of rubbish, definitely you have a lot of non-biodegradable. Non-biodegradable, it means you could not you cannot, you are not able to process 
this particular material. The next one is mud slides. So you could see from here that it threatened a lot of city and human lives in Kazakhstan. So do you want to live with your country, your beautiful country like this? No. Yes. Definitely you try to find a solution. That's why you study here. You try to find the better solution. So we need K-pop. <laughs> well, it's not that kind of uh, Kazakhstan pop or Korean pop, but it is Kazakhstan K-P protection over climate problem, K-pop. So with this K-pop, our university is collaborating, our famous university is collaborating with Singapore Housing and Development Board in Singapore and one big company, Hockley Engineering Private Limited to develop geo barrier system. So what is the meaning geo barrier? Geo is the geotechnical engineering. So this is one field in civil engineering. So we need a miracle from geotechnical engineering to provide barrier against climate change. So we call it geo barrier. So in this geo barrier, it can help to absorb the water during the rainfall. When there is a snow melting, you expect this water from the melting of the snow is absorbed into this particular system. So you avoid two problems here. One, no more flooding. Second one is to avoid the mud slides. Because mud slide is the water flow along the surface of your soil and then wash away the soil. Yeah? So with this system, you can basically solve two problems. How about the problem on rubbish and air pollution? So with this system, you can use the non-biodegradable material from rubbish as a material in this particular system. And then with this system, you can help to grow the plant. Of course, there's always a question. What is the question about the plant? How the plant survive in cold condition? So I introduce you the cold adaptive, adaptive fungi. So basically, you can grow fungi in this particular system to keep vegetation grow even during the winter season. So with this system, definitely you expect to have greenery during entire season, four season. So what are you waiting for? Isn't it you want to help reduce air pollution, reduce flooding, reduce waste material, and avoid the much lighter. Remember, your future generation depend on you. Can you listen? Your future generation asking help from you. Please remember, mitigation against climate change, K-pop and geo system. Thank you.